immigration, protecting the sovereignty of the United States, putting a wall on the southern border, making sure that criminals are not part of our process. These are all things that 80% of Americans agree with, and these are all things that President Trump is doing within 30 days. I, I kind of break it out into three verticals or three buckets. The first is kind of national security and sovereignty, and that's your intelligence, the Defense right. Department, Homeland Security. It was certainly the first, I think the first two EOs that you've started to see implemented here over the last couple of days under General Kelly, and that is the rule of law is going to exist when you talk about our sovereignty and you talk about immigration. The second line of work is what I refer to as economic nationalism, and that is uh, Wilbur Ross at Commerce, Steve Mnuchin at Treasury, Lighthizer at, uh, at Trade, uh, Peter Navarro, Stephen Miller, these people that are rethinking how we're going to re reconstruct the, uh, our trade arrangements around the world. The third, broadly, line of work is what is deconstruction of the administrative state. And if you... So I think, I, think, I think the three most important things, I think one of the most pivotal uh, moments in modern American history was his immediate withdrawal from TPP. That got us, out of a, got us out of a trade deal and let our sovereignty come back to ourselves. That will reposition America in the world as a, as a fair trading nation and start to bring jobs, high value added manufacturing jobs back to the United States of America. It's going to get worse every day in the media. <laughs> and here's why. But by the way, the internal logic makes sense. They're corporatist, globalist media that are adamantly opposed, adamantly opposed to an economic nationalist agenda like Donald Trump has. Here's, the only re here's why it's going to get worse because he's going to continue to press his agenda. And as economic conditions get better, as more jobs get better, they're going to continue to fight. If you think they're going to give you your country back without a fight, you are sadly mistaken. Every day, every day it is going to be a fight. And that is what I'm proud of about Donald Trump. All the opportunities he had to waver off this. All the people have come to him and said, oh, you got to moderate. Every day in the Oval Office, he tells Reince and I, I committed this to the American people, I promised this when I ran, and I'm going to deliver on this. Uh, well, in regard to us two, I think the biggest mi misconception is everything that you're reading. Um, we, we, ba we, we share an office suite together. Uh, we're basically together from 6.30 in the morning until about 11 o'clock at night. I have a little thing called the war room. He has a fireplace with <laughs> you know, nice sofas. Donald Trump, President Trump, brought together the party and the conservative movement. And I've got to tell you, if the party and the conservative movement are together, similar to Steve and I, it can't be stopped. And some of it is going to take a little time. I mean, to get the jobs back, to get more money in people's pockets, those things are going to happen. And in the meantime, we have to stick together and make sure that we've got President Trump for eight years, and he's somebody that we know that we can, we're going to be very proud of as these things get done.